Greetings everyone. I'm here today with a very brief tutorial on um, how to perform a moving average analysis in time series data. And while I'm discovering, disc uh, discussing the time series data set, I'm also briefly touching upon the uh, concept of seasonality. As I said, this is a very brief introduction with the intent that more detailed discussion of this topic would happen later where we will introduce more involved uh, forecasting techniques such as uh, um, exponential smoothing, Holt and Winters model or, or um, econometric methods such as uh, ARIMA and Arch and Garch model. So this is merely an introduction of the moving averages uh, method and we will be focusing on it today. So uh, the time series data are any data set where we have multiple observ observations over time about the same phenomena. So if you are measuring, for instance, um, someone's height throughout mm -hmm. their lifespan, so from their birth to their adulthood, um, and every month, every year when they celebrate their birthday, they note down their, their height, that becomes a time series data. Similarly, data on stock prices and data on uh, um, GDP uh, or, or retail sales um, by month, by year, all our examples are uh, examples of time series data. Now, um, I must mention that the disaggregate data are uh, noisy, uh, and by that I mean that there is more um, fluctuation in disaggregate data than there is in the um, in, in aggregate data. So if you have let's say monthly time series data, if you were to aggregate it to annual or quarterly time series, you would see that the fluctuation is average out and you see a more smoother trend. Then there's also something called the seasonally adjusted data, which are nothing more than um, aggregating data in a fashion that we take out the peaks uh, or fluctuations resulting from uh, seasonal influences. So for instance, in retail, we know that retail sales increase in December. Um, and uh, therefore that presents a unique uh, peak and seasona seasonally adjusted data would then account for this uh, seasonal peak and would average it out. Um, moving average, as I explained, is just one method and it's the easiest method to take care of uh, uh, the, the seasonality. What I have here is a data set from Statistics Canada on the retail sales of, by major stores in Canada. Let me just modified by saying the retail sales reported by large retailers in Canada right so um, the data set um, let's fit it okay so the data set are retail sales operate reported by large retailers and I'm, I will show you the raw data set and also the seasonally adjusted data and then very quickly how to do moving average in Microsoft Excel the first thing in, in any time series data are that you start with plotting the data set. Um, you determine the periodicity or just estimate it, just take a guess, and then um, develop multiple moving average estimates, a three month, a six month, a nine month, if there's a monthly data. We have here with us uh, the monthly time series data and uh, the here we have the actual trade volume. This is these are billions of dollars, so four four billion, six billion, eight billion, and you see that around December there's a peak and then it falls and then it peaks again and it falls, and this happens every December in retail sales, which is obvious because most of us purchase gifts and other um, purchases during during Christmas because of the sales involved, and this is the seasonally adjusted time series as reported by Statistics Canada and it doesn't have that much fluctuation. It sort of averages out the, the peaks and turfs. So uh, how do you get to this? Um, but this is seasonally adjusted which is a little bit more involved than I would show today. Uh, so let's just show you the, the basic uh, uh, moving average technique in Microsoft Excel. So what we have here is the Microsoft Excel um, and the data sets are here and I've just left the graph here as well and the uh, unadjusted sales data which is the actual data and is here and the seasonally adjusted data are here so the moving average is basically nothing more than the average and let's say we want to build up a moving average of three 
So in this case, we are saying that we will take the moving average of the last three observations. And the only way to do this is if we are here and we are on the third spot and we can say, what is the moving average of the last three months? So let's go to the fourth time step and we look at the last three times steps here. So we sum this up. Actually, we say sum and I take these summation of the last three months and divided by three and that is the moving average. Oh, this doesn't look nice. Uh, let me just remove this. Here we go. So this is the moving average estimate for the last three months and if I just uh, bring the cursor to this dot here and, and stretch it down, I have an estimate for the the formula is copied so anytime I double click it it's the summation of the last three months divided by three. The moving average for six months would be uh, something similar it's just that it would take us to sixth month so one two three four five six All right so we go here and we say and this time I'm using the function average and I just select the one two three four five six and there you go this is the six month moving average you can select this and and this will give you another estimate and I'll just jump to moving average 12 the 12th month estimate and I just go to the 12th month and I'll just push it down a little bit okay here so this is a 12th month I come here and I say average here we go and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and this is the twelfth month moving average right good so I will copy and paste these cells to the end of the time series and I'll take this highlight it and then bring it down control D here we go control D is to copy and paste the cells to the bottom and then see this graph here if I just stretch it there it's going to add these to the graph and let me make it bigger and so you if you look at moving average 3 which is green here and if you follow the cursor um, it's mo the 3 month moving average retains some of the um, the um, characteristics of the underlying data which have uh, December peaks. If you look at the moving average six month, uh, which is the purple colored graph here, this line uh, is more ironed out or more straight, or not straight, but it has less peaks and, and uh, fluctuations. And the moving average 12, which is the this blue line, um, and this blue line is almost the same as the seasonally adjusted data. Uh, you see that it just goes up like this. So as you aggregate on a higher um, time period, um, you get data or a time series that looks familiar to the, um, the seasonally adjusted data. So I hope this helps uh, on how to do moving averages using um, Microsoft Excel.